All right, guys. Just got a quick bite to eat here. And I'm heading home. It is Saturday, May 20th. I believe it's May 20th. Yeah, May 20th. Uh, I was at my in-laws. And um, my wife and kids are staying there for the day while I'm cutting hay. So we're going to be cutting, laying down some hay today. Probably, I'm shooting for 25 acres. It's already noon. It'll be probably 1.30 by the time I get rolling. So I think I can get it down if I if I decide to. I, I got to see how much it rained at home. Uh, Dad is also coming over. He's bringing the last pallet that he made of us kind of reconfiguring them. We're going to set it up on the stacker wagon and kind of see how it's going to fit, make sure it's going to fit before we build two more. Might build more than that too if it's going to fit, if it fits good. So, so we'll get everything out so we can get back to the stacker. We'll set the pallet up on there. I'm going to check my gearboxes on the disc mine and fuel up the tractor and we'll be laying some hay down. Uh, Dad is also going to be laying that field down that we're having the yield contest for today. And then I think he's going to probably shoot for getting that done today. And then tomorrow he's going to be laying down some uh, another field and some cow hay. So it's happening, guys. 2023 hay season is uh, in full swing right now. Look at this guy out here snooping around my hay field. What's he doing out there? See how much rain we got. I got just under three quarters of an inch, 0.66 inches. All right, Dad's gonna move the four wheel. I'll get the skid steer. Puppy fired up. That needs to be cleaned up. I need to put a cab kit in this thing, actually. I can't see anything for the glare. So, oh, wrong way. guys when I bought the center pivot disc bind I thought I don't know if I really need something that big and no I don't really need something this big but the price was right the guy was really good to deal with he actually gave me some money back whenever he found out that the gearbox was bad on it and I've run smaller ones there's nothing more maneuverable than a center pivot disc bind I'm here to tell you even for the size, you can't even compete with a, with a side pull. 10 foot, 9 foot, I don't care. This thing is way more maneuverable than any smaller one. So I'm really happy that I bought it. Tractor's fueled up. We're going to get the tether tractor out. And back that truck in there. We're going to try this new pallet on the stacker, make sure it fits. Get back in here and set that pallet up there. Hopefully it fits good. All right, let's roll. Dad's heading over to the field with the four-wheeler. He's gonna watch me cut a little bit before he heads to his house and starts cutting. All right, guys, starting her up the first time today. thousand rpm fifth gear on the white we'll run about 750 800 rpms on the pto here we go we'll cut a little bit make sure we got our chute set like we want This is a 
make a little bit of hay. Not as much as that. But. Oh, that's wet out here. I don't like that. And down in the ditch, the rest of it's not wet. Daddy O's gonna head home, move along, and when we get done with this field, I'm gonna move over to the neighbors. I'm gonna cut it next. Then when I get it done, then we'll jump to the back field and we'll cut it. The ground is a little bit more damp than I would like it to be, but it's not bad. Uh, it would take it forever to dry out down under there. So now we got it exposed. This is the reason why I wind roll my, my uh, hay most of the time. I keep it up tight. You know, they say it'll dry quicker if you spread it out, which is true. But if you look at my soil here, see how wet it is? It's sticking to my finger like that. So. Uh, I wind roll it and we'll let it sit here for uh, tomorrow's Sunday I'll probably come in Monday and tet it and this this ground will dry out the rest of the day and tomorrow and then when we spread it then it's sitting on good dry soil which helps it dry
got this field done. It's uh, 3.30, we're heading over to the neighbor's field, we'll cut it. Like I said, it's not real thick. It's fairly thick, but it's not real tall. This is a little bit better out here. That's about knee high. Heading back to the backfield. We're gonna start cutting that. It won't be near as much fun cutting because it's not as good hay. It's it's getting towards the end of its life span. All right, guys. So here's what I'm talking about. We've got some really good orchard grass right here, right along here, all the way down where I started down there. Then you got a low spot here that's got nothing but a bunch of cheap grass. Cheap 
crap cuts harder than anything. That cheap loves the tractor down more than than the which this is a really thick stuff, but more than a really thick orchard grass does. cut off at got my new battery here uh 8 30 when i shut the tractor off i started just a little after two for the whole thing and then dad got eight acres cut and uh, tomorrow he's gonna cut some more i'm not sure how much more he'll be cutting tomorrow but probably at least that much maybe a little bit more we'll see thanks so much for watching i'm really excited to be into the thick of hay 2023 and uh come along and we got a lot more to do. So God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.